Hi, check this out. I think I found the world's most dangerous consumer product. Ta-da! Somebody sent this into my mailbag segment. Yes, it's a mains cord connected into some sort of probe thing. Hmm, thank you very much to the person who sent this one in. Uh, no, it's not one of these uh, USB hole warmers that we've seen before on the mailbag where you plug them in the USB port and stick them up a hole and it warms things up. I'm sure they're just fine. No, it's this thing. It's a portable uh, immersion electric element for heating up water. I'm going to show you why this is the most dangerous consumer product possible. Let's go. So this is a portable immersion uh, jug element, basically designed to heat up water. And you'll notice that it's all plastic, right? It's not like a, some sort of insulated ceramic uh, heater element that you'd typically find, you know, inside a, an, an electric jug or something like that. And you can probably see down in there, look, there's metal plates. There's metal plates down in there. Oh, connected directly up to a mains cord. Let's measure it. Now, according to the eBay page, this is a 500 watt electric uh, immersion heater. So it should have an element in there. What? No, it doesn't. It doesn't measure anything at all. But what it does do, let's stick one probe on there and one probe on there. Look, it's connected directly to the mains pin. And the other one is connected directly to the other plate. That's all it is, is the mains cord connected directly to two internal plates. It's an electrolysis device for heating water. You gotta be kidding me. And here's the actual card it comes with, with, look, just stick it into a jug there, no worries whatsoever. And uh, it's all in Chinese for those who can read Chinese, but I've actually translated uh, the one in red here and we can see this this product is available in pots buckets cups beakers submerged and portion generates power dissipation not submerged part does not produce power consumption i.e no heat duh you take it out it's just two plates it doesn't heat anything the actual power consumption of water hardness the product relies on water and ionic conductivity so the actual power consumption uh is rated to basically how they, they're saying hardness but that means you know how basically contaminated or how you know not pure the water is so you know if you've got really 100 percent pure water eh, this thing's not going to work too well it's an electrolysis device you put enough voltage and current through water like this and you're going to separate the hydrogen and you're going to boil the water yeah it's going to work it's basic electrolysis but it's just the most dangerous way to boil water possible and we got some warnings down here the product do not let children near the power cord is damaged or broken protective case they're concerned about a damaged power cord I think I'd be concerned about something else and children with this thing. Oh my goodness. So you know all those uh, warning videos about not dropping your hair dryer in the bath and things like that because uh, they're connected up to a mains cord. If you put them in water and, the touch, and you touch the water, you can die. I can't help laughing, but this is deadly serious. They're selling a product, consumer product, with t exposed mains wires that you deliberately stick into water. And look, it's safe, safe. Yeah, look, the, the, this couple looks happy here. They're gonna, they're taking their uh, portable electric immersion element with them while they're going camping, and they're just gonna stick it in there and <laughs> warm up their water. Unbelievable, but look at the item description. This is funny. Microwave, special materials, non-toxic, non odorless, in 100 degree water, is, does not decompose. Not aching, not discoloration, deformation. Due to the magnetic wave action during the heating, after water absorb electromagnetic energy, moisture occurs, bizarre oscillation, collision, and after friction, the water rise in temperatures. That's some fine chinglish right there. I love it. But look at this one. Through special panels, put chlorine converting into hypochlorite play a role in disinfection and sterilization. Uh, I'm not very good at chemistry, but doesn't heating up chlorine actually maybe potentially convert it into a gas? Chlorine gas, which is 
kind of, sort of, dangerous? Oh. But I know what you're saying. Dave, don't be too harsh on this. Look, after all, they have a warning here and it's in red. It's even got a double N, just in case. Don't use metallic or plastic container. Don't heat when the container has no water or, or enough water. Don't put the device in water completely! Exclamation marks everywhere! When you finish heating, switch off device first. Wait 30 seconds and then take the device out. Never touch the element when it is hot. Never put your hands into the water when it is heating. No shit, Sherlock. Unfortunately, there's uh, 28 people out there who've bought just this one from this one seller in this one auction. That's it. And they have another 100 available ready to ship direct from Hong Kong for $3.89, including postage. Beauty. And well, I don't really have to insult anyone's intelligence by telling you how dangerous it is sticking exposed mains wires directly into water. Like, my five-year-old would know this. Unbelievable. But people, you know, they, they see the word safe up here, no worries. And like, it's plastic, it looks insulated and things like that. So your average Joe might buy this thinking, oh yeah, you know, look, it's, you know, it says it's safe, no worries, right? Oh, you're putting mains wires directly into water, like, <clears throat> so I shouldn't have to tell you not to buy this heap of crap, it'll kill you. Okay, don't try this at home. It's alive! It works! Wow! One kilowatt! Look at it! There it is! If you're curious about the power factor, there we go! It's almost bang! It is bang on! So, no worries! One, so much of the 500 watts! Wow! 1.1 kilowatts! Ah, oh, that's ridiculous! Yeah. And the steam's coming up! Or is that hydrogen? Yeah, that looks completely safe, doesn't it? <laughs> 240 volt mains, two plates straight in the tap water. 1.2 kilowatts now. Unbelievable. Just no. Hang on. No, 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 no. No! No! No, no, no! That's right, the damn thing blew up in my hand when I was trying to measure 240 volt mains. I was holding it like this, probing the 240 volts as I do, bang! The damn thing, just, oh, it, it didn't literally blow apart, but it was one hell of a bang, and I jumped 10 feet across the room. The damn thing near killed me. So clearly, there goes the review, because all I've got is a charred meter. I don't have another one to do a review. Not that I would anyway, because this thing has a serious safety issue which needs to be addressed. And I think I know possibly why it blew up. So let's take a look at it.